going to briefly describe what is meant by the term harvest index. The term was first used by two Australian plant physiologists, Donald and Hamling, in the mid-1970s to describe and quantify in a ratio the proportion of harvested grain to that of the total above ground plant biomass. So in other words, it's a measure of the relative efficiency with which a plant moves assimilate materials from leaves, stems, branches and other vegetative tissue into the developing and uh, mature grain. So it's a good way of describing the efficiency with which plants utilize the raw materials of sunlight, water and nutrients from the soil and turn it into yield. In the case of wheat, that, will, that is grain. I think it's no coincidence that Harvest Index was first developed as a concept with respect to wheat. It's in the mid-1970s wheat underwent the biggest transformation that I think in terms of its physical appearance that had been seen since it first um, became domesticated in ancient history. And that was through the introduction of reduced height genes into, the, into modern plant breeding. One of the big consequences of uh, reducing height, the introduction of these genes in wheat, was that it improved their, their, the harvest index. The plant was able to assimilate and transfer more of its nutrients from the stem into the grain. So with that one development, they significantly improved the proportion of the whole plant biomass that was uh, harvestable as grain.